We have uh, articulated the, the procedures and and ideas of how to implement local council elections since 2007 to 2008. There is one case, JKKP, yeah. in Clan, yeah. Yeah, where they did their own elections, they conduct their own elections, and whatever the results, bring it up to the top. Yeah. That's the, uh, and, uh, the... So what my PGA is looking for, or is advocating, is structural changes. It's, it's not just, uh, you know, uh, a fresh coat of paint and then fades away after a few sessions, after a few seasons. I've discussed this with the other three candidates actually. This has been going on for a very long time, right? And uh, we all agree to a certain extent that we have 24 of them appointed councillors. We have actually articulated some ideas. One third must be elected. That, one third. Good move, yeah. One third. That yeah. is uh, eight, 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 something that yeah. Pakatan has practiced in their first term, but after that, yeah, but not elected. Not elected. Uh, not elected. Uh, uh, yes. You Avoid must have one third elected, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you must have criteria. Must be local, lah. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If you get somebody who doesn't understand PJ, yeah. I, I find the problem with councils today and state assembly, man. They are not from here, so the feeling is just not there. All right? Not like myself in La Salle and all that. So you need, in fact, I've discussed with all my last alien friends. This is also a feedback from them. To implement fully, maybe we talk. let's look for something practical. Huh? Yeah. You look at the politicians' manifestos in the past two terms, <coughs> local council elections. It sounds good, la, but yeah. just to get your vote, you see, after that, we talk Nothing later. Happened. So to me, as I discussed with uh, Gurakan uh, PJ, uh, Chai, uh, Cheng, of course, and Paul Sakna, one eight. Sorry, one third. One, one third. third is, that's yeah, yeah, that's yeah. I think that's fair. Then, that's a fair. Yeah. whatever it is, we will push for it. Yeah. Okay? We don't even need federal government's endorsement. Exactly. We try to work with the fair. Yeah. You don't need. So then we get. Then at least you have one third of the voice inside the council. Mm -hmm. From there, things yeah. will change. Yeah, Until you check and balance. Yeah, you, you see, you must have step by step. Sure. Yeah. You not go plum pat sekali, eh, bentangan, bentangan. Because, you know, sometimes sure. people yeah, have their interest. Menteri Besar wants to have his, yeah, his so-called, huh? I don't know, lah. looks like it now. Because you look at TOD, for example. Yeah. Today, object, next meeting, all keep quiet already. Yeah. Look at like somebody is holding the whip. Yeah. Huh? So, to me, look, at the end of the day, we must have to start off with one third eight. Yeah. We yeah. have actually articulated a piece of document here, mm. which we call uh, a pledge. Aku janji pilihan raya umum my PJ. It is uh, the work in progress. So, kalau orang lain tak buat, other majlis tak buat, we in PJ with you. Exactly. And PJ. I don't need Kuala Selangor, up to them, right? Yeah, yeah. representation. Sometimes they don't, do. for them, local council elections uh, may not be uh, an important agenda. Yeah. Yeah. But in PJ, yes. That's why we are different. PJ, yes. You know? yeah, for them, the way community comes together is a very different method. <coughs> they go to places like Kuala Selangor, Skinchan, and all that. They are very, they are, they are, their intimacy is different right? as compared to ours. Huh? So, there's, there's another suggestion that we have to the empowering of the Majlis Perwakilan Penduduk. Uh, what we have seen is that Majlis Perwakilan Penduduk have been selected by the councillors uh, from whom he favours. Anyone who is, uh, is not, who is an adversary... Not from, uh, yeah, he, he, there's a whole problem be. today. So our, our proposal is for every uh, for the MPP, the, the comp compositions of the Majlis Perwakilan Pendugo must come from the uh, representative of resident associations and KRT or the places of worship, masjid, kuil, churches. Automatic membership of the MPP because at the end of the day, the real active ones will be the one who, are, who remains in the MPP. You may have 30 right, in one zone, but the real active ones, the ones that participate with end up with a practical yeah. number of 15. But 
it's, it serves a very significant, uh, it sends a very significant message. These are representative of the people elected to uh, proper democratic process. That's the, the very least we could do. So that's the, the empowering of the MPP to us is a structural change. Not just that. Uh, even without the Ali Majlis, the MPP should work on its own. It's just like JKKK, yeah. Jawatan Kuasa mm -hmm. Kemajuan Kampung. Kampung. Without, even without the representative, they still function as, as a unifying, as a, a dynamic organization that moves the community. And a location we made to them where they can choose which one projects that they, they should be uh, uh, yes. it's of priority to that particular zone. So that in reality is a manifestation of what uh, participations of the community rather than just rhetorics. We have seen yeah. too many rhetorics actually and structurally it is not in place. It changes every time the Ali Majlis change. It's not rhetorics, it's politicized. Uh. <laughs> exactly, that's a, to me that's a, that's why I, I actually coming out to stand as a candidate for this election, for the state seat. Because I find that the state government and local government plays a very important role in regulating the way we live our lives. Right? So, and the politics that has been happening for the past 10 years benefits no one at the end of the day. Uh, of course, I, I don't like to criticize because I find that platform given to them, the facilities given to them, uh, both uh, state and, and local. I always combine state and local together. Some people say, well, are you running for local government? I say, no, because it's very important. State and local is, they are together, all right? So if you use your, your platform well, you fulfill your duties and responsibilities. I think there's so much thing you can do. And in PJ, what you need is awareness, awareness. See, local council elections to me is very important, personally. But before you put in place all the other social infrastructures, such as information, openness of data, and all that, that can maybe a small group talking about it. But once you have, you, you increase people's awareness uh, and, and readiness and acceptance for this, uh, then local council elections is just one of the most important things. And that's why I think I really support my PJ. I find that sometimes the politics that we see uh, is irrelevant. Uh, uh, that's why let's keep, keep ourselves focused. All right, I choose MCA Barista National because I believe they have a very good structure. Like for example, Tamar Aman. The league has got a problem. So I'm also a member of Club Sabat Taman Taman. Uh, I'm a member and I'm also a Utah Education foundation member, the foundation that owns the University of Rahman. And we, we, we actually took them to see you know, how Utah as a university all right, can actually help to revitalize the place. Right? In the long term, this is long term. We are not talking about putting some chemicals just before the PRU and after that, let's then do a, again crazy and all that. Huh? So we, we don't want that, is it? Because this is an ongoing thing. Right? So don't run away, stay there and then keep doing it. To me, that's, that's how it should be. So the awareness must be there. All the basic things that are like, you know, Then local council elections come as well. It's a package. Like just now, the Majlis Political MPP can play so many roles. Security, all kinds of things. So I need to get my message out. See, the problem is what Eric has said that day. DN Karachakap, people don't want to viral, people don't want to talk. Because you are, you are supposed to be wrong, you know. So we are, we are saying that, you know, there's another person who can do no wrong. Right? So we, we also don't want that kind of talk. Criticize us, please. You have to. But at the same time, you have to do your job. You must criticize me. You must make me accountable. Alright? If I want to take up a post, alright, and this Adun or whatever it is, you must open yourself to public. Kalau tak mau, jangan. Kalau takut air, jangan buat rumah tepi pantai lah. You can do something else, what? Correct. So you have to be open to the people. Because today's politics is just like that. Both sides, please. Just because you say the other side is one story 
and then you make yourself so correct also is wrong because you can't say more like that, right? Everybody, so we are here and we criticize you not because we want to criticize you so once you're not widely, nobody wants to talk about you it's because we want you to do fulfill your duties for the benefit of it so I think that one the, that's why the, the character and the, and the culture in politics today has to be towards that I think you're right uh, and I think in, PG, in my PJ what that's what we are trying to do yeah. to be more mature in our approach to uh, conflicts eh? yeah. we may have difference yeah. of opinion but let's be more mature and we we say that if we make it in PJ it, if we fail in PJ the whole country will fail yes. that's we the are model yeah. yes. model so city can I just uh, add in a bit of history here mm. uh, this is a document uh, bring back local government elections uh, done by CGG uh, all right? mm. and uh, this is actually a paper that is uh, commissioned by the Selangor government you know? and it says that you know, we can have local council election and Pertaling Jaya would be one of the pilot projects you know? but uh, it suddenly <coughs> that is an obstacle uh, all right? so over here it says uh, that uh, the Menteri Besar have the right to appoint mm. councillors so there is a lot of uh, distractions here People say that we must go to the federal government and you know, change the laws and all. But in the short term, it can be done through the local yeah. council election, through the Menteri Besar. Mm -hmm. So we do not want this to be an excuse uh, anymore to say that you know, federal government has to change. But of course, we want to see federal government changing that. Uh. So another point that uh, GT has brought up uh, is the education process. Uh. Yeah. Because the local council election, uh, some of us know it very well. The rest of them may not know. So that process of education, getting the infrastructure right, information availability is quite important. So you are now advocating that there is a temporary process of one third councillors yeah. to be appointed. Yeah. Uh, when do you think the complete one should come in? And as how do you think that no, we can come in? As and when you go along, once you see the benefit of having one third elected in the council, people see the, the benefits of it, I think then you will get more and more support. The politicians and politics, political parties, you need pressure from the ground. Yeah. That's all. Why, why are all these pledges about local council elections? I get very annoyed. Good for us, we will, we will change the local government act. It's all just rhetoric to me. Alright? So people don't understand. People see, oh, Process. it's not the local council elections that you want us to vote for you for. You want us to help you change to do something which I don't know what exactly it is, but we know it's something lah. All right, now that is the problem. Okay, so that is what uh, we don't want to see because then you are politicizing the whole thing. So to me, we start with a very very so called uh, holistic program, huh? right? And then you bring in one term elections, and then from there you move. I I think there's a good start yeah. for ten percent. Uh, uh, that, uh, not 10%. 1 third. 1 third. 1 third. 1 third. 8, 8, 8. Uh, yeah. mm. So it's it just right. Because by uh, actually, whatever the system, uh, it must work uh, Okay, for that matter. You can have a local council election, it doesn't work. I think perhaps that was how it started. It was a local council. Perhaps they see that it's quite sluggish, not working. That's why they implement this to their advantage. They take over. The government took over, lah. The political party took over and do it. Yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, it could yeah. be like that because why? You see, uh, the important thing, uh, is any system it must work. That means to say, uh, there must be people who are prepared, knowledgeable enough to participate. So I think PJ is mature enough for a lot of people, professional, to participate in this. Like for example, you talk about the land, the lake. Uh, see, they just give a contract and use chemicals. Actually, there's more than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to do constant monitoring. Yes, the BOD, yes, the search, COD, yeah. all this. TSS, yeah. you must monitor them. Yes, you cannot yes. just do chemical and kill the whole pond. Yeah. Now, who, who is stopping that? Eh? So with that, if people like us are inside, we can tell, hey, come on, it doesn't work. Like, come on, you are doing the biological things. It, you don't by right, your, chemical. By right, the, whoever that is elected and together with the appointed ones should have highlighted this. this yeah, that's a rule. Yeah, yeah, correct. See, uh, so that's why I say that's a rule. It, it collaborators, uh, participation, mm. local council, the uh, election, uh, like, uh, people who are well-versed, mm. uh, they can sit on it, they can help you. 
I be mean, just want things to move. Yeah. Uh, so the the PJ wants improvement, wants pe- people to move, and uh, achieve the objective. Uh. So we 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 we, did, we look towards that. Uh, no, uh, uh, PJ is to a lot of talent. There are so many talents here. If they can make things work, uh. So I, think I want to add one one thing. Sure. You're saying one third, eh? fine. That is lecture. But what I would like to see also another one third be from NGOs in PJ because this is what something happened previously and then overnight it went off and I think when representatives from NGO went there, were there it was quite good because it, it kind of attract diverse mm. uh, people, what, what people who are marginalized uh, What kind of NGOs? Yeah, it could be uh, OKU, you know so that, that, that can be selected, you know, in, uh, uh, you know? Uh-huh. that's one uh-huh. yeah. What the other thing is, I also want to know your stand in case uh, BN doesn't take Sligo. Do we still? I mean, I'm, I'm hoping you get elected because you are passionate about this. I, I'd like you to see that you you start a movement and still fight this thing for strongly sure, for, for us. Sure. You know, for sure. as, as a BJN, yeah. like, you know, what I mean, it's not just only if you get the majority. Yeah, yeah, for sure, <coughs> for sure. Whatever it is, I will stand because that is what uh, the people voted me for. If I'm voted, that is, uh, you have to stand for, for those who have supported you and for what you believe in them. So I think that one you know, cannot negotiate. Uh, I think Kevin can, can uh, meant it a little bit differently. Uh, if you are elected, then you have a mandate. Mm. But what happens if you are not elected? I will uh, what will you continue to do or will you wait for the next election before? You know, no, before I will continue. Like uh, what I said, it doesn't matter the results mm-hmm. to me. Huh? I'm yeah. here, I can, I won't run away. The other day, the Chinese press, you know, why would you move to another constituency? I said, no way. Okay, this is our home. No way. So can you tell us uh, about what you've done uh, before this election? Uh, probably you must have been helping PJ in your unelected ways. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, what are the things that you have you done? Uh, this is where MCA comes in. Uh, all right. So, for us, we are very close with NGOs, certain NGOs, and I find it funny when these NGOs are not appointed into the so-called local councils in the first round. There's another group of NGOs in PJ. It's just that that's why I said for us is how to get everyone together. So why is this NGO elect appointed? The, the others not appointed? I'm the legal advisor for the PJ Coffee Shop Association. But uh, how one of them should be inside? Maybe because I'm their legal advisor, I spoil them. I don't know. Okay, I think they should be inside. These are very important people. Once the whole PJ Coffee Shop, in fact, uh, I'm involved. <coughs> right? So, but they, but they appointed me as a legal advisor. So, with all these NGOs, with the community work, you see, like in PJ, we have two. Uh, so-called new villages like Songhai Way and Chen Park are very bad condition there. Mm-hmm. How come these people are not in, in the in the council to represent the interests? Alright? Now uh, okay you which okay you you want? The, the, the one in the two area uh, uh, are taken care by the uh, Adunsa, the, uh, the council. No, but you council. still that's what I'm saying. Uh, uh, you have to have the, them. The, the key point here is establishing the criteria for the first thing we need to do is to uh, the establishment of this criteria for councillors. Yes. And that criteria must capture the mm. aspirations and the spirits of the that has been defined in the uh, the Akta Perbandaran dan Kampung, Pemerintah TPT Town and Planning Country Act. It's well defined. Who qualifies to be uh, uh, an animal place. Yes. We need to strengthen that. Yes. And I would expect that within the first hundred days, that's the first thing we do to strengthen the criteria. And subsequently, appointment or election be done following that criteria. How many councillors are local now? Yeah, we have to ask that question also. Correct. Mm-hmm. And on what basis? If you say NGO, what basis? Sure. So the the pointer the then will have a discretion. Yeah, sure. Mm. So how do you pr- practice or carry out these discretionary powers? Exactly. That's the, where 
uh, it becomes important. The criteria for local council election or uh, for Ali Majlis be defined and agreed to by the community. I, you, I mentioned, meant, uh, you mentioned earlier that three of y'all had already agreed on some appointment criteria. Say again? You mentioned earlier that y'all had, together with the other candidates, y'all had some idea of appointment criteria. No, not appointment, uh, on the local council elections. Okay. One third. Election. Okay. Okay. But We're talking yeah. about appointment, then mm. to me, as I'm questioning now, what is your criteria of appointment? But any you, suggestions you have for your views? I don't know. I, I find that, uh, yeah, if. If for me, if I need, if I have the power to appoint, I would definitely appoint some of the NGOs like DJ Coffee Shop Association people inside because they play a very important role to me. To me. Yeah, the, the first step I think is about establishing a criteria that is uh, that reflects okay. Okay. two representations of the community. That's that's key, and we need to work together for that piece of document. That is where the appointed people and people who who has the power uh, to decide. Uh, that's where you see the character and how they perform. I'm an NGO. They appoint NGO who is more or less towards the green. Uh, then different that stories. Different stuff. I have heard stories. So what it is, they form an NGO to get inside. Mm -hmm. also, uh, <laughs> what's wrong? That. What's wrong? That. Okay, I have heard stories. I mean, these are real <coughs> stories. I won't yeah. reveal their names. Councils coming to me, they are sacked because they don't uh, toe the line. I say, whose line? Is it somebody's line? Correct. Right. That's the whole problem. But then you have wanted, at least. Mm -hmm. But who you elected wanted also depends on you. If it's based on party, again, you never know. Yeah, <laughs> it can happen. Then the same goes. Uh, Cycles but at least they are elected. Not so simple. Uh, all right? No, I, I feel the wanted uh, should be uh, the NGOs, but Bear in mind, uh, you have some professionals. Sure, they could be members. Yeah. Are you going to buy an, yeah. uh, an MCA member from contesting? Yeah. You, 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 you see, uh, you see the the bread and butter issues. Uh, the Adun with the councillors, they work very well. If the Adun and the councillors, they work bread and butter issues. But you talk of uh, more important issues, uh, like for example, the Kolam. Uh, you want to do how to rehabilitate the Kolam. Yes. All uh, the court tender, they do all this, they don't know. See, uh, that, uh, these are the issue. And then uh, BQ, uh, these are the issue. See, we are looking, I, I'm thinking uh, we are looking at more bigger issue now, not bigger <coughs> body issue. Like if you put a coffee shop, uh, you only think cleanliness, you're thinking of sales and all this. But he's one of them. Yeah, so what, them. what I'm looking, uh, what I'm thinking uh, is more than bread and body issue. No? It has to be on uh, a professional, on, on issues uh, which people won't see. You know? Like for example, BQ, how they do the roads. You see, all wastage, all money. And how they clean the pond, wastage, I can tell you. I'm not an expert on the environment, I can also tell you, uh, you have to monitor them now. Uh, POD or COD, to must me, monitor one. To me, this is the quality see? of candidates and the council. Ah, that's why uh, the thing, the one, the, the, the right. one third, uh, must have people of certain qualities. Uh, where yes, they can sir. look on bigger issues now. That's why. Rather than bit of butter, bit of butter uh, the, the Adun and the councillors are doing well. I can tell you that. Uh, my council uh, uh, and the Adun are doing in my area very well. Uh, Long Kang Subak, uh, this one, uh, that we do one nowadays. These are all remeteme, all this can be sorted out. Uh, see? Yeah, one is a basic. Yeah. Uh, if your basic job also you don't do, sorry. Yeah, la, I know. Okay? That's why the council are doing That's well. That's why the people you elect, even yeah. if let's say you open up the local councils to one third election. That's why we have to scrutinize them. Mm -hmm. right now, that's why in this coming election, we scrutinize them. The background, their capability. Right? I think one thing we have to uh, highlight uh, is that councillors uh, are not supposed to be on the ground solving local problems. They are supposed to transform the system of uh, yes. MPJ so that we will just go directly to the system to get our problems solved. But right now, we are dependent on the benevolence uh, mm -hmm. of the councillor. And sometimes if the council don't work well with the Adun, you have got a problem, you know, kind of thing. So uh, we want the system to take care of it. So I think uh, Kevin has raised a point that uh, NGOs also should be included. So if you have one third uh, residents, one third NGOs, then, then we have the problem of who are the NGOs. Because NGOs can be political appointees, yes. and proxies, and can be set up. You know? So uh, I think the tendency would be for the political people, politicians elected, you know, to come back and say that, 
how are you going to select your people? You know, uh, you cannot give one person to appoint it, and then after that they say we will overlook your process. You know, and then our criteria setting will all be messed up. All right. So I think uh, politicians uh, should uh, acknowledge at this point in time that the civil society uh, uh, will take care of its own mechanism to set up a fair and transparent manner that would even challenge the transparency of their own appointment that we should be uh, given uh, the yes, uh, yes. You know, authority to do that. Because setting of criteria, uh, the politicians will come and disturb you know, and will try to steer it. You know. So, And then in the other point that I'd like to pick up is, uh, is that uh, the people are not ready for local council election. You know, some of them are ready. So in the process, there's an education yes. process going on. But in this process as it's going on, the quota for local council election for residents, for NGOs, uh, shouldn't be politically motivated. In other words, uh, during this time of transition, the politicians shouldn't stand and candidates as proxies uh, to compete for this quota. But in the long run, as the laws are all changed, the things mature, it's open for everyone. So I think we have to just be quite conscious of the transition stage. Yeah.